Hello everyone, this is, um, Weeb, Buck, whatever you prefer to call me, and today I'm just going to be going over the game Dying Light 2. I've, this is my first time doing something like this, I'm new to it, but I've, I played this game and I just, I feel like this is necessary, because this game is really fucking good. But it also has its problems. I'm not going to shill this game like it's perfect. Because it's not. But I just kind of want to go over it. And tell you what I like about it. I'm very excited to be doing this because I've been wanting to branch out besides my usual short form content for a long time. But I've never really had the time to do it. But now that I do, well, let's just get right into it, shall we? First things first is, this game feels really fucking good to play. It starts off slow-ish, but in the gameplay that you're seeing right now, it's like... I'm maxed out, almost, and it's just really fucking nice to play. I'm not the best at this game, I'm not the best at any game, but still, it's just really nice. The game feels great. Oh, if you've played the first game, it feels different, but it's still good. I was actually, my standards were extremely low, because I'm playing the PS4 version, not the PS5, PS whatever. So I was expected to be a buggy mess, and luckily, besides from the occasional crash and the texture loading issue, which I'll show at the end. It's surprisingly good! I really like it! Uh, well... I've, it took a little bit of learning to get used to, but once I figured everything out, once I got more abilities, I started moving faster, it was really good! Um, of course, it's not gonna be for everyone. The running in this game feels great and all, but not everyone's gonna be into it. The story... Um... I guess I should put, like, a timestamp somewhere, because I don't know when... <laughs> like I said, the first time doing this, I'm really... The... whatever. The story. The story. The story in this game is... Hit or miss. I think it... I think the game starts off well enough, and just goes on and on, and it's, it, the first part's really good, but some of the later stuff just, it, I kind of stopped caring, but, you know, it, it was still okay, I guess, there's only like one or two characters I don't really like, even then, one of them is my fault, but still, like, the story, it, like, it can keep you entertained. I think there's a lot of good lines. Uh, some of the uh, voice delivery isn't that good, but you know what? Do you what can you do? It's it's not going to be perfect. The main the main problem I have with this story is uh, it's actually the main villain because he definitely like at first I was like, ooh, this is going to seem real interesting. But then it just kind of turns into a fan fiction in the Dying Light universe, and I got very lost. I'm not going to go too into it, but man, he just really didn't. It. I guess he fell off after the first time you see him. But the whole premise of the game, like being infected. It's actually really cool. It's something that Dying Light did as well, but I feel like this game handles it better. And it's actually like a main focus of the later parts. The character basically being a super powered human being is not realistic, but it's 15 years after the fucking end of the world. I think it could be excused. Oh god. <laughs> this gameplay is fucking terrible, holy shit. But, yeah, it's still... Uh, it can keep you entertained. 
I really like the choosing system. I really do feel like there's ways that my story could have been completely different. But still, yeah, it's it's all right. It's not the best. The movement in this game feels good. I'm going back to the. Ah, oh, it's just so good. I can't stop playing this game. If I got free time, I'm on this game. I'm like, just turn my brain off. Just go for it. And I feel like if you can get into the movement of this game, you'll really like it. Just, oh god. It's just. Okay, let's talk about the map. The map in this game is big. It's really big. But you can get from one side to the other relatively quickly if you know what you're doing. And I like that. It it has its own skill thing going on for it. I <laughs> think. Um, yeah. I think the map looks pretty. I'm playing on the PS4 version. I, I didn't expect the game to look this pretty. It, it, it does. It looks great. But that's at the cost of loading issues. You've probably seen it a couple times. You'll see things that aren't textured. But if you don't take this game like necessarily serious, like it's serious, dark, gritty zombie game, then it's fine. It can actually provide a laugh or two. Which is good. I I think if this game was serious all the time, it would not have gone very well. And that's actually like the main thing about this game is that it knows when to take it so seriously. Granted, later on it's a little goofy, but it's still relatively good. I think back to the map. The map like I said, looks gorgeous, and it's actually really well designed. Like, you can go through this whole map, and unless you fuck it up somehow, you're gonna, you, you can stay alive the entire time. Like, it takes some serious, at least later on, it takes some serious messing up to die from falling off. Because, like I said, you just kinda get better. Even if you're not great, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. And like the music in this game, I played through this entire game without music because that's what I usually do. I usually listen to my own music because video game soundtracks can be a little generic, and that's what I expected from this game. So immediately, first thing I did, turn the music off. This music is really good. Like I was not expecting it. Was it's um it's surprisingly electronic. I expected it to be just like a kind of electronic, but not really. And hearing that, and hearing it, like hearing the way that the game's music goes with how you're playing is really nice. Like if you do something cool, the music will build up and it falls. It'll look. I think the best way to show you is just by showing you. The, back, the background music that you've been hearing is from the game itself. It's not me putting it in. It's, it's really good. There are different tracks, some better than others, like this one, but it, that, it all comes down to personal taste, really. But it's still good. The game does stutter if you have, if you're playing on the, uh, PS4, Xbox One versions. I think that's definitely one of the problems of the game. If everything's loading in, it can stutter. It, it doesn't last forever. The game runs really well. But the stutters are still there. Like I said, I'll go I'll go over the glitches in a minute, but you know, it's it's noticeable. But if I, if I, if there's all these issues, and I guess it could just be not being picky, and me wanting another game like Dying Light, after so fucking long finally playing it, if I can still play this game for so long, it, it, it's something about it. 
And to others, it might not be like that, but to me, at least, it's, it's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop talking for a minute and just kind of, like, let the music play out at its normal volume. So, I think I'm just gonna let the rest of this clip run, and then after that, we could talk about the combat! And then, after that, the chases that the first game was also really good at. But, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave it here. And, uh, whenever the next gameplay starts, I'll start talking again. You get to hear my lovely voice again. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let this run, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Now, and, um, whenever I said this game was big, I meant it. This game is huge. This is another part of the game, and I'll, I'll discuss about it in a minute, but... The combat in this game... It's... It could be a little clunky if you don't know what you're doing. But that's kind of... After you Oh my god. After you uh... After you get used to it, it's really, uh... It's actually really satisfying. Getting, like, the parries and stuff. Tackling, grappling, all of this, all of the abilities that you get feel feel like genuine additions, not something to just replace another. And I can really appreciate that. I think I think at first the ranged weapons they give you aren't really that good, but you can get some good stuff later on. It, it's all about progression in this game. And I think the enemies have good variety. There's the big, uh, I guess it's a little generic, there's the big slow dudes, the, I guess it's big people, and then there's the regular grunts. Of course this game has infected, it's dying light, you know, it's a zombie game, it's kind of, like, uh, all sorts of zombies too. There's spitters, there's howlers, they, they're actually what you use to start chases, which I'll get into in a moment here. That they have that. They have the volatiles from the first game. They are such a threat in this game. They're much more of a threat than in the first game. Like they will, will fuck you up if you even slow down. I believe there's also the the goons from the first game, but they have a different look now. There's also the demolishers. Did you see? I don't know the name of them, but they just kind of explode and it they're not a threat like at all I think that's it there might be more 
Uh, they definitely plan on doing content on uh, additional content, which is expected. But uh, maybe there'll be more. It, the following was a great DLC in the first game, so I think that will also be very good if they, whenever they do do more content. I think one problem the combat suffers in this game is that if if you if you know how to fall into a rhythm of things being like samey, like you. If you want to have different combat experiences, you have to do it. Like in this clip, I show you just how easy it is to use the same thing over and over again, which it's not really fun. I think if you're one of the ones that exploit a lot, then it's definitely doable, especially on rooftops. Like you can just throw them over, and it's really easy. But you know, other than that. That's relatively simple. Mm, that's really all I have to say about the combat. It's just good. Now, let's get to the chases. The chases in this game are... <sighs> it's really hard to talk about the chases because it's one of the best, but it's also one of the weirdest features in this game. Not weird as in, like... It's structured weird. It's real. It's super simple. You get chased. The zombies chase after you. Run. Survive as long as you can. Or lose them. But it's just... It's one of those things that... It's easy to get away from. It's a little too easy, if you ask me. You know, it's supposed to be the tense moments. But you just... You accidentally just end up dropping them in, in the earlier stages. Like the zombies aren't actually that aggressive. You you have to sit there and wait for them or seek them out to keep the chase going. Like that, I just completely stopped to keep the chase going. And that I just really don't like that. But once you do get a chase going and you can keep it, and once it reaches like level two, three, it's so fucking tense. I, I like that. There it is. The chase ended. But yeah, it's just really fucking weird. If you don't go out of your way to get it, then you're not going to. And that really sucks, cause, like I said, the chases in this game are really fun. It's, it's really tense. Because nah, it's later in this clip. I'll show you. I'll probably, uh, whenever I'm done talking, I'll just let the clip play, but still, it's just... Oh, man, it's such a rush. Like, it almost, it really sucks that it's not a better system. Like, if it would have had, like, half the fucking infected in town, or just after your ass, once you hit level 4, that would have been really good. But it's just not to that scale, and it could be a PS4 thing, I don't know. If it is, then I'll have to try the game on PS5 to really get, like, a good stance on it. But but this version, man, it's just... In, in the early stages, it wants me... It wants me to get more. Like, I want to get the max chase without, like, having to constantly stop and check on the infected. Which, I hope they, they do. And if you're playing on PC, mods, mods, just, just use mods, I'm sure there's a couple mods for this game. If there isn't, I'm sure someone will do it. It's just that good. It really is. And the music for the chase is also very good. It, it's, it's a little, um, it's a little predictable with the music, because, you know, it starts off kind of slow, and the more... The higher level you get, the the faster the music gets. I think that's definitely something that makes the chases a lot better. Like it makes it like understandable to do. Like you can tell that you're getting into deep shit the more you play, the longer the chase goes on. And if you're like one of the ones who hates that type of shit, then you you can definitely get away chase level one two without a problem. So, but. If you're like me, you like the thrills, and getting to the higher stuff just isn't that easy. Because 
if you're, unless you're like constantly attacking howlers, you know, getting their attention, the two, <laughs> the fucking two zombies that are after you in chase level one, aren't going to be enough. But whenever you hit that chase level three, right here, this is never it gets fun because this is never volatiles come out. The super buff, the super tanky. And the ones that hit the fucking hardest. These are the infected. Like I said earlier, you have to watch out for it because if you don't, you're fucked. If you slow down during like a chase level three four, unless it's to heal, and you're constantly keeping your back on, you're constantly watching your back like that. You're not gonna stand a chance. They will immediately tear your shit up. And I think that's part of the. I think that's why the higher level cheeses are so good. Like if three four was if three was two and four was three, then it'd be really good. Yeah, I think that'd be a good solve. And mm, just okay, I'm gonna shut up. Because these next two parts are just that good. And I'll talk to, I'll I'll be back, don't worry. I'm not just gonna let the rest of the game. I, I want to have like closing thoughts on the game. <sighs> I really need a script. <laughs> but yeah, it's just that good, man. And I hope I get to see more people play this game. Because this game came out around the same time as Elden Ring. Which I'm not gonna say fucked over its sales, but you know, Elden Ring is the game of the decade. It's the best game of the decade. That's without a doubt. But this is still like... If da if Elden Ring would have came out last year, then this would be my game of the year. Without a fucking doubt. Um, yeah, after this we're gonna have my thoughts about the... About the really weird glitches and texture issues. And then, uh, I'll close it out. Because this video has gone on fucking long enough. Holy shit. I'm just gonna let this... I'm gonna let this... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna let the max level chase play out, and... Yeah, I'll just... be back. Go! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so how about that, huh? <laughs> it's intense. But now we get to the ugly stuff. The glitches. The glitches in this game, they can range from goofy to... God, I had to wait this out, don't I? I've never... The game crashes, but... Like I said, the PS4 version is going to have stability issues. It's going to have the frame stutters. And, you know, I understand that. But... I'm hard... I'm having trouble thinking of the words. The texture issue isn't that bad. Like I said, you can get a couple last it, But sometimes it, it can be a little annoying. I actually want to show you some of the texture issues. I think... I think you, I think you need to see it to believe it, because this this screenshot right here that I'm talking over is actually over. Uh, it's actually what oh, I'm going to show you what it looked like before, and it only happens once you load into the game. After that, you're good. Uh, here. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad, but it could be worse. Like the textures could never load. This game is it's really good, but it feels a little bit cyberpunky. Not in the traditional sense, but it's kind of like Cyberpunk 2077 if they if the problems were only very little. But, you know. Meh. The, the bodies glitch out, that's always funny. I've always believed that those were funny. I don't know, it could be my weird sense of humor. I don't know, but... Yeah. The, the, this is pretty much the end of the review. I want to say that I had a lot of fun doing this. I think getting the gameplay, you know... Action recording, I'm a real YouTuber now! <laughs> but all that stuff is... All that stuff is really good. I'm glad I chose this game to be my first because, damn, it's good. It's like 8 out of 10 good. You know what? I'm going to put 8 Delsons out of 10. I don't think I'm going to do this again anytime soon. Uh, yeah, just uh, just like, subscribe, all that stupid shit. I, won't, I want to make money sometime soon. Wouldn't that be something, huh? I'll see you later. Have a great day.